Hello and welcome to Infinity. We're going to look now at a new adjustment, which is the gradient map. And uh, we're going to do that as a layer here. So remember for all these we've done so far is you click on the little eye up there, which is assistant, and make sure that adding adjustment layer to selection is set to add adjustment as new layer. Right, so now to do this, remember going to the adjustments, you can either go to layer, new adjustment layer, and find the gradient map here, or I mostly go down here to this one because it's near the layers and it's easier to see. And I go to gradient map there. I click on that. The first thing you see is it got, it's gone very weird, but this is the the default red, green, and blue like this, and uh, you think, what the heck's this? And uh, let, let's fix this to, to at least to something that makes sense. So we'll take the green there, click on that, and just drag it off off there, and it'll eventually pop off there. It's gone. Now on the red here on the left, and I click on that, notice the circle gets a bit bigger, which means we're editing this. I click on the colour here, make sure the RGB sliders is picked from there, and I just drag down to the bottom here, so R, G, and B are all zero. And what I'm doing there, and I click outside, and there, see, this has gone to black. Now if I click on the one up here, click on the colour, drag up to the top there, so these are all up here, and I've got white. And look what I've got here is a black and white picture, because this is what this gradient map does. It takes the darkest areas, the blacks, and the lightest areas here, and puts the colour that you've made along here onto the lightness of those pictures, or we say often luminosity, but the same thing really. So here it's just gone black and white, but it means I can start changing it. So if I click on this again, instead of having black in the dark area, I could have another colour. And generally, because it's the darker area, I want a darker colour, so I'll come down here somewhere. You can see if going down here, I'm getting a kind of sepia effect, so this looks like an old photograph. I can also fine-tune it. It's a, it's a good idea to maybe to start with these, but then fine-tune here and play with those till you get what you want. Then the other end, that's going to be the lightest area of whites. It's often a good idea to leave that white, but you don't have to. You see, if you click on colour here, I'm going to get a light colour here. So I could say go to a light yellow, like this, and adjust it here to whatever I want. And maybe play with other colours. Always keeping there, because if you go down there, the, the lights are going to get darker. But then that's okay if that's what you want to do. So maybe just leave that a little bit light there. And you can see there the gradient from darks to lights is now going from a it's like a dark sepia brown to a very light yellow. And then I can also put in new ones in the middle. So I can click on there and I can slide this up and down, which drags the colour there. Or I can go to the colour here, and I can change this as well. So the middle tones here, I'm doing this. It seems to affect it a lot, because in the middle here, although it's affecting these, the, the darks are still going to be that dark brown, the lights can still be that light yellow. But a lot of the tones in a picture are going to be in the middle. So you're going to see a lot of the middle. So the colour you put in the middle is going to affect that a lot. So you can play with that colour where you want to put it. You could even put in another one. I could put one in there. I want it to be really strange. I can change that to another colour. And I put another one in here and change that to another colour. And it starts going rather strange, which is how we start it, wasn't it? So I'm going to just pull that one off there. Just drag that one off. Drag this one off here. And so what we can do with this now is if we want to have colour in here, not just the colours we put on here, just mapped to the tones, go to the opacity here, click down on there, and just come down and drag this down, and it will gradually mix it in with the colour. So there, that sort of oldy worldy effect, I can bring the opacity up, and it's just colour toned it there to something that's easier to use, like that. One more thing you can do is just experiment. It's always good to try things. Where it says normal here, click on here, and you can just go down here and see what happens. If you see something that's kind of like, oh, that's interesting, but is a bit too strong an effect, again, you can come to the opacity, turn it down, so you get 
the effect you like. Anyway, that's it. That's the gradient map and you can see all the ways you can change the colour of the picture. And thank you very much for watching.